Hey, this is Danielle Zana. I'm lazy, still doing a video. Well, I'm still working on that video. Um, in regards to the anti extraterrestrial height and the um the allies of allies of humanity, uh, the government propaganda group to try and prevent the um official first contact of extraterrestrial uh to insert fear into people about extraterrestrial and give them a misunderstanding and as well probably as well to, to promote uh the so called fake alien invasion lost card uh, thing. That's what I think uh it's part of it. Uh and I don't think this person realize it or maybe they do, I don't know. Or maybe they unsubconsciously being pushed that way, I don't know, but anyway, there's so much um, problems about that, and the thing is, it's getting critical, I put a video up um, uh, to let people know that um, Fukushima plant, uh, basically, everyone on average has got roughly 10, to, I mean, 20 to 30 years, um, to live on this planet with the way the radiation is going, uh, the whole thing's been hushed up. Um, it's 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 not something that's actually joking, my. I mean, people just don't seem to realise it, because all what the government uh, or what the media pushes on TV is basically um, wars, uh, economics, um, information or, or or dramas that are. You know, not that can be easily solved, and the actual um, important things they're not covering them, um, and, and and everything's just basically focused around walls and all that, and it's it's stupid, and and yet you got this radiation leakage um, going out, and it's like I don't know, it's just really. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'm still, as you know, I'm still working on the artwork. I've got my pen it down. So I'll be doing the video um, after I've finished the art. I still haven't actually done a speed uh, speed up of my last live stream. I didn't. I'm not doing a live stream on this one because of various reasons. Um, problems and issues are hard so this one is kind of like off live stream but my next one will be on live stream um so yeah so you got these this anti extraterrestrial hate and you know and I know that that's the only solution because the government is living on this uh, advanced technology they've even strutted themselves showing off in their anti-gravity crafts um, probably for the next war they want to do it it's like you know I just don't know what to do really um, the problem is I am stuck here and nothing is no one is really doing anything uh, well you do, there are people that are doing something but it's not working it's, it's like it's like protesting um, you go out, you protest, make a noise um, to get a message out. Um, I actually protested like two years ago in London against the government with the, the cuts. We made a noise and all that, and they still went ahead, um, ignoring people, and went ahead and started doing crap. Um, it's now gotten to the point now. Um, there's a rumor that they wanting to kick people if they benefit, and I don't know how that how, what's going to happen to people. Um, people with wheelchairs are going to end up in the street. People with um, disabilities, like myself, I don't know how to do handle money. I don't know how to work with money. I don't know how to think with money because I, I just don't understand it. My mind cannot. Um, figure it out, and it's just to me, money is nonsensical, and you can't 
force me to make that it's worth silence. It's just that's why I can't handle my bills. I can't handle it's when I go, you know, get do groceries and all that. I just can't handle it, and I'm way short and then that and that and that, and I just get stuff that I don't need. So, um, I just can't handle it and work it and wangle it. Um, that's why I can't sell my art. I try, but it doesn't work. Uh, I just don't have that gift or that ability. Not even gift. Not even ability to work or handle money and all that. So yeah. So I am just worried about that. Um, but um, um, everyone's just basically worried about money, wars, things like that, and there's this issue in Japan with the Fukushima, which I've mentioned in my previous video, related to the anti-extraterrestrial hate, uh, to make people aware that the extraterrestrials created people, and they're not, not wanting to invade, and all that, and there's even evidence now that, with, um, I'm actually going to, in the video, I'm going to get footage, more data, so it's just not a talking elf only. So I'll have actual evidence to back up uh, the message. I did have uh, um, information to back up the message that was then. The radiation seems to be actually spreading faster than what was anticipated. But I still go on with the the estimate of um, 20 to 30 years. Um, <clears throat> even though some people are actually trying to do something, they've even experimented with pop once. Um, I don't know what's happened with that um, to neutralize the radiation. Um, so the only thing that I see is extraterrestrial help, um, and that can only happen when um, the total average. Of every single inhabitant of the planet, regardless if you, um, what you are, or everything, inhabitant like a citizen of Earth, in a sense, um, anyone who has shows love towards the extraterrestrials and understanding, regardless if they if they don't uh, agree with the create. Um, Extraterrestrial bioengineering life, and they can stick with Darwinism, and stick with their big fantasy fairy wizard male there in the sky. But the thing is, um, if people accept the extraterrestrials, show love in a sense, they will feel welcomed and accepted, and they will share a helping hand. And they won't be interested in economy or money or anything like that. Like what some people assume, um, Carol, Rolls, Carol Rosen's trying to do the whole peace uh, thing in a bit of a corporate way, which is a bit, um, you know, understandable that she's in the planet. It's just basically run on money, but the extraterrestrials aren't interested in money. They aren't interested in the resources. Um, they aren't interested in in, the, in that happening. So, um, like what some people assume that they just want to uh, take and use and all that. Um. So yeah, it's just so damn perfect. Um. I want to say thanks very much with um, well, my friend on Facebook. He's a he's the founder of the Raven. He actually shared a few things on. Fukushima, which has actually got me to the point where I've actually said this prequel video to my actual official animated movie and all that. Um, I'm also going to do a bit of a rant as well um, later on in this video about things. But anyway, back to the topic. Um, first of all, um, uh, they're planning to actually. Will cover will cover the Fukushima things with uh, cement, and they plan to do that once in every hundred years. That's actually like patching the planet with bubble gum, fixing it with bubble gum. 
Ooh. Really, uh, um, it's, it's, it's unbelievable if that's the only w solution that we're doing because of, we're focusing too much on economy and wars and things like that. It's, it's, you know, those things are stupid, especially in a situation like this. Um, it's it's totally ridiculous uh, with wars and all that. Uh, coming into mind when there's a uh, a time bomb on the eastern side of the planet so it's really preposterous uh, I just can't wrap my head around the stupidity these so-called world leaders are doing it all sometimes I just wonder why are they doing it what's the point I just don't get it. It's just they're so enwrapped with greed and selfishness. They don't get a damn about others or even their own children. Um, it's really, it's really shocking when you get people that came with my art and say, "Oh, protect the children, protect the children." You don't even know how to protect the children from your bloody radiation. Never mind understanding sensuality and all that. And and, and condemning it as bad and that from religious indoctrination with the past without going into the science of it. So, um, it's very much linked to neurology and all that. Um, and then spirituality as well, you know. But anyway, um, what I'm actually now, I'm going to go on to my uh, little, I uh, have still on the topic though. Um, first of all, as well, um, where was I again? Um, yeah, with the Fukushima, they're actually planning to actually, actually, um, block it up. And yes, another one is the radiation is going to Korea, drifting to Korea, and their governments are trying to censor the information from the research on the dangers of the radiation. So it's like, it's as if nobody wants to know, they want to hide it. They want... I just wonder if, it, if it's a thing that would I try and use that to limit, lower the population of the planet. I don't know, but that is just inhumane, to be honest. Um, to actually do that to people, living conscious beings. Every person is a conscious being and and feels and to wipe people out is just stupid and ignorant, selfish, and you wouldn't like it if you were wiped out just uh, in the way of called population culling in a sense. You wouldn't like it because you have feelings, you have emotions, and you want to enjoy life. You know, just because you got money, you think you you're the best and better than anybody else. Wrong. If some people can actually do things better than you, who are creative, imaginative, inventive, but cannot achieve what they would like to do because of things. Really, um, I just I'm so, and then then you've got the UFO technology. Under the government's asses, where they could actually use that to change, to get rid of money. You could actually get rid of money within five years by releasing uh, free energy, building free energy plants, bloody more nuclear stations, free energy power plants, which runs on the zero point energy, and then get rid of cars completely, where you can actually. S give people flying saucers and all that and they can travel around in that. So if you got a car, say, okay, right, let's just swap it. And you wouldn't even need to waste money on roads and all that. You just focus all your money on um, on nanotech and robots and things like that. And then once the robots start working on it, then people could just live without having to be pushed around. You know, that's the way to go. Take it or leave it. 
and if you don't want to head that way, there's the extra terrestrial hop got to. And you can't push this anti extra terrestrial hate written around, or else you're just gonna get out and you're just gonna end up killing each other with a fake alien invasion. Whoopee. You know, just think when you see things that are very are uh, hate ripped towards extra terrestrial. Just don't buy it. It's just propaganda to push you towards the anti extraterrestrial hate. Now, okay, a few minutes is up, and I'm going to do my little rant about dogma. I can't handle it, and I can't stand it. I can't handle it, and I can't stand it. Um, I had been voicing my opinions about the mistake of Yahweh. Basically, Earth people are supposed to be all hermaphrodites. This is from my... Um, and Nananya, my star mother, and I think she told me this. Now, people say, oh, I don't agree with you. You don't need to agree with me. You don't need to agree with it. Or you can have it as your bit of information. You can just put it on the side until you get more information that supports it. Apparently, there is a bit of archaeology, archaeological information. It's even in the... Um, Ancient religious or spiritual texts, um, even in particular in the Native American um, um, mythology. But most mythology is, is based on past and all that, and just it changed through time and all that. But anyway, take it or leave it. That's it. Take it or leave it. Just don't criticize me about it. Don't. Assume me, um, you know. This is this is one thing that why I'm not asking asking people, um, particularly with the Raelian women. As soon as you say something or experience something that's totally not in the book kind of thing, and you that is basically dogma, dogma, stupidity, ignorance, and I don't. I don't like people like that. I just don't like it. I like people who look at something as an open minded and say, Well, right, what you said, okay, cool, you know, I agree, I don't agree, you know, and you get on with everyday shit, you know, seriously. But if somebody comes up and says, You're doing that, you're ruining, um, trying to change texts and all that, and blah, 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 messages or whatever, try to change it. You know, I just can't handle people. I can't, I can't, I can't. That's why I sometimes like to stick to myself because I can't handle dogma. I can't handle it. It's like, it's actually giving me two minds again, you know, getting involved. Uh, if, 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 if people in the rally movement want to do that to me, that I can, you know, get on and I just don't want to be asked what I've what I've experienced. I've experienced, they have an experience, fair enough, you know, cool. There we go. But if they come to me and say, to try and tell me that I'm wrong and this and that, and try and you, just because, and I say, I'm actually a hybrid entity, get it in your head. Oh, you just can't even accept that as well. Cool, don't, I just don't make it your problem with you. Anyway, I had my little rant, and um, I just can't be asked with people who are dogmatic. Um, it's not if I'm trying to change things or anything like that. I'm just speaking my opinion, you know. I'm just saying, and the thing is, on what I've experienced, and that's it. I don't make money out of it. I don't go around writing books and making because I actually don't know how to fucking make money. So anyway, I had my little rant and all that and um, yeah, I'm going to get done and start with my work and after that, in the meantime I'm actually thinking on what to put down and what information to gather to put in this video 
so it isn't boring or isn't it long it's gonna captivate people's attention. Not insert fear, but just get their attention that um you know this Fukushima thing is very serious. And the anti extraterrestrial hatred is very serious. And people seem to be heading that way because I get the the no offense to the channelers, um, because I've got my own, I've got an opinion about the channeling things. Anyway, back to you know the channelers. Well, well, basically they come up with things, and um, and sometimes the information is wrong and all that. So what happens is you get you know to channeling these channels to let the thing. The reason why I'm doing that with my hair is because that's the antenna, and people tend to get a signal, and um, sometimes you get a majority of people that get the, 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 the message telepathic message. And what you do is you collect all the telepathic messages from the channels, put them all together, and then you just take out the common um, aspects of it. Um, some people add on, uh, some people use their things to make money, and um, so what you do is just take out the common things and then you get that information, put it together, and you'll get a better, clearer picture. And so, yeah, because of this channeling thing, people have gained mistrust for the exorcist. And which is, I feel the extraterrestrials should actually tr try and not rely on telepathy and crop circles anymore, but to try and scramble the ra radio and the TV and all that. I mean, that is a, an excellent way to get through to people. Um, the thing is, t you know. That's that's what I have to say, you know, because telepathy thing, thing is it works, but it's it's very selective, and as well, what I'm going to say about it is often wherever you are on the planet, um, the reception might be good in certain areas, and the reception bad in the other areas, and also your well-being if you're feeling really crap and all that. You get a bad reception because you're just transmitting um, negative vibrations and it scrambles up signals and all that, and you don't get any information right, and that's what happens. And also, as well, what I'm going to say is um, um, long hair helps with reception. And another thing I would say is. Um, you know, you've got the conspiracy um, theories about with um, governments using mind control and all that. Well, apparently, telepathy works in the low frequency range on the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, that's when there's a spaceship up and they're using the electromagnetic spectrum to broadcast messages. Um, ELF waves, if they the government's also using that uh, to transmit crazy messages and sometimes the telepathic me messages from extraterrestrials get scrambled with the government messages and therefore you get a mixed message so you got that issue as well and which is why I hope they try and uh, push uh, scramble the airwaves Because that's that's better, uh, um, particularly when the matter is becoming serious. Um, that's what I wish for. They, they decide what they want to do. I can't. It's just a request or what I'm asking the extraterrestrials to do. Um, they decide on it, yes or yay or nay. You know, it's up to them. But anyway. Um, but it, what I'm also saying is, um, mm, 
hanem ilyen meg zaktól az része, igen. More or less said what I had to say. Hmm. Yeah. I think I can't remember. I was going to say something else. I just forgot. It just gone out of my mind. Anyway, much love. The must. And, um. I'm going back to the summer. Okay.